Now I know for a fact Mumbo has never played Among Us, but don't you think his base looks a little suspicious? Did he do this on purpose? <laughs> Honestly, I, I've been racking my brains. At some point I'm like, Mumbo's never played Among Us and has never showed any interest in it, yet somehow he made this. It's pretty su- I mean, he called my base a couple of strawberry laces, which, okay, yeah, it's clearly a path, but then he makes this! Sus. Anyway, welcome back to the next episode of Hermitcraft. I have been trying very hard between episodes not to make too much progress, and I haven't been sticking to that at all. I have been laying out where I want the grain, the G-train to go, and this is what I've come up with. I want it to go all the way along here and through that tunnel, and I actually want my sort of train station to be here that I've blocked off with a bunch of copper for now. But it turns out that trains are pretty difficult to build. I have spent quite a few hours trying to make a design that works for me. And unfortunately, the track is made of anvils, which means, I mean, I've used a lot of stacks of iron and that's as much track as I can afford right now. So what I want to do today is to make some progress on the G train because I really need to get selling all of the stuff that I've got stored up doing absolutely nothing. What I also want to do is find ourselves the tag. So a little bit of an update on where it is. In fact, I think this is already out of date. So Cub is firmly in the lead with 351 points. It then went to false, Scar, Etho Gem, and then me, and then Iskal has lost it and it's gone to Impulse. And I think Jem might be looking for the egg right this second. Now, I literally just mentioned it. So we might be in a uh, competition to find the egg. Impulse has got loads of little hidey holes everywhere. Would he hide it in here? Does this count as a base? It's not deep in the bowels of his redstone. Impulse's base is just not that big. Oh, 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 maybe it's down here? Nope. Confirm it's pretty much not here, not up here. The thing is with Teg, you have to check absolutely every nook and cranny that you can. An impulse is a smart cookie. You think it's in here? I don't have an ender pearl. Green? It, okay, uh, we've both had the same idea here. Yeah, that's the last spot I can think it's of. The only, it's the only way. But it's I, down there. The difference is be. I don't have an ender pearl and you do. So if I die, please get a bucket of water. Oh god, I have a bucket, no! I don't have water. Oh god! Oh yes, yes, yes! <laughs> it worked! Yes, it's here! Wait, does the button do anything? <laughs> <gasps> I got it. Oh my gosh, you got it! This was evil, Impulse. I already have a place ready for it, so wait there. You know what? I'm just gonna place it, I'm gonna place it on camera because I'm pretty sure Jem's gonna find it in about two seconds. This isn't like a real hiding place, but we'll we'll see. Jem kind of had the same idea, so in order to share this, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna place it literally right here. Right above that mushroom. There we go. It's accessible and it's visible. Oh, this is, this is actually quite a good hiding spot, but it's not, it's not a proper one. Jem can find it in about 20 seconds. Teg has been placed, and I've got myself a viewing platform. How long will it take her to find it? I love this. I love this stupid painting. I've officially got one point. It, the egg has survived for one whole Minecraft day. I'm officially the worst player at Teg. I've had the egg twice, and I have the lowest score. Now I'm just hitting her with the, with the egg puns. I just said how exciting it was and how I expected her to do to find it quickly. Show me out my own house. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think she's about to, she's about to find it. Ha ha. Exactly. I got one point out of this whole charade. Well done. Well done. I got one point from that. I got it though. That took forever. <laughs> <laughs> if the pun is the lowest form of comedy, then the egg pun is the lowest of the low. <laughs> I'm only yoking. Okay, egg shenanigans out of the way. We should now get cracking on our carriage. I have a design ready. I'm not 100% sure on it. I've had to do quite a lot of research on how to make 
trains get lots of inspiration, but I think I've got something that will work for me. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and make our first carriage. I might even make two carriages, one, two, to start off our shop. Now what's going to be cool is this shop will continue to go as long as we need it to, and then when I feel like I've got enough carriages, then I can make the actual front of the train. So, let's go! We are finished. We are finished. We've got two full carriages and kind of like a, a storage one over here for shulker boxes. So this is what I have to sell. Most of the stuff has come from villager trading and then all of the books. What I've done here is I've obviously got a carriage that looks like a Minecraft bookshelf. It's a bit of a throwback to looky looky at my bookie, but of course it is on a train. And then this one here is just for selling shulker boxes, which I don't have an awful lot of at this moment, but I have already sold quite a few. Someone has been very gracious and come over here to buy a bunch of stuff. Is the G train going to be as successful as the barge? It certainly looks like it might be, because we have sold books and we have sold blocks. It actually looks like someone might have died recently. Wow, over one whole stack of diamonds from that one day of being on the server. And I had to stop myself making lots of progress on the actual base. I started thickening up the guidelines I made for the entrance to see what it might look like, and I can confirm I think I'm heading in the right direction. And then I also started working on an outer outline. So I've obviously got this like inner outline that helps me with the inside, but then I've also gone and highlighted where the actual mountain exterior will be. And in the meantime, this has popped up. It looks like everyone is making some kind of mountain. Our little potato boy is growing up. He's doing all kinds of buildy buildy stuff. Which leads me to my next game, <laughs> How Dumbo is Mumbo Jumbo. With all our newfangled diamonds, I want to go to his shop, Harmless Harvests, and grab myself some obsidian and some end crystals. In fact, I might just take his last two. And we're going to find out How Dumbo is Mumbo Jumbo. Now, I know that this could go hideously, hideously wrong and it could result in the end of all of his items. Um, if that happens, this is this has got his name on it, okay? So if, if all goes wrong, he's got a brand new set of tools and enough XP to rename them all as well. How Dumbo is Mumbo Jumbo is a game where we put stupid things in front of Mumbo Jumbo. And if he falls for it, then he's a Dumbo. <laughs> this sign is D. Signed. Okay, so it's as simple as that. We distract him with the sign. We put a bunch of end crystals right here. And we wait for him to take the bait. Maybe it's not close enough to his base. He's, well, he's seen me. Oh no, he's, go he's totally going for it. <laughs> Is it going to work? <laughs> Is it going to work? Is he going to read the sign? He's not going closer. Dang it. Okay, he's not Dumbo this time. <laughs> no! <laughs> I guess I'm a Dumbo. <laughs> I deserve that. I, de I deserve every second of that. <laughs> Look at that mess. That was the best. Okay, you don't even need four of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That was, I, was, I was expecting you to fly away. You only need one to die. Oh, yeah, they, these things are insane. Yeah, I mean, I like, here's the thing. So I saw you jump off, so then sure? I jumped off. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to... Oh, no, all the stuff. Oh, I hope there was no stuff up there. Do you die again? You blew yourself. Oh, uh, I really Wait, hope. Wait, hang on. I really hope that we didn't lose any stuff in that. 
Yeah, I was going to say, did you pick up all the stuff before I hope, you did that? I hope so. Potato peeler, that's definitely yours. That would be mine. Okay, I think... I think I got everything. I could tell you one thing. You've um, you passed my game immediately. I started this new game called How Dumbo is Mumbo Jumbo. And All right. You, you, today, <laughs> I've, I've won. <laughs> you are not Dumbo. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I managed to... I genuinely... You jumped off. I jumped off at the same time, but then just detonated it on myself. I mean, at least at least it, it you, kind of caught you. But... You started a new thing, by the way. You, you have started a new thing. I am just going to sneak up behind you. And just oh, ex- no. it's, it, you've started something. It's just going to be explosions everywhere. Yeah, I'll just turn around and I'll just see a piece of of, of obsidian, and I'll just be like no. In fact, you will you will make lots of sales of end crystal. I mean, what if we start if we start end crystal battles? Well, the thing is, it's so instant that you get a jump scare. It is it is very <laughs> very instant. Tips on how to actually to to not take damage on these things. Blast protection on your armor. No 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 no. So if you go like this. And then you place a block and then do it. See, like, I didn't take any damage there, really. I only took a little bit. Huh. See? Ha- so you, you... These are you nonsense. Can... Yeah, really... So you have to be, like, wary of if you place it. But then, so say, for example, you placed it up here and then blew it up. Like, I wouldn't actually take much damage because my feet are covered. It's all to do with your feet. What? It's really weird. Yeah, it's really weird, dude. It's it's super strange. All right, that but that's just how it is. The failure of this prank is like third life level. He immediately. I mean, it's suspicious, right? <laughs> Four of these crystals just sitting here. Of course, he's not gonna actually go in. Lesson learned. You need a chest to open. He has started something though. He definitely started something. Uh... Now, okay. Why did you put this here? What? On his hand. Oh, that? Yeah, I just... That I was new to having end crystals, and I was just like, I need to I need to put one somewhere. Well, so you then... know that's that that can never go now. Yeah, no, it's... I realised that as I placed it. I was like, this is now actually like a permanent feature of my base. Well, oh, this... mumbo. I mean, no. Oh. Wait, is he down here? No, he's upstairs. Maybe if we put it outside the window? Maybe if we just place the end crystal, he could never get oh. rid of it. No. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Oh, wait. No. no. <laughs> I, I hear you now. Well, there's, no. Look, 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 there's, there's actually nothing he can do to stop this. Oh. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, well, impulse, we're not, we're not going to... No, 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 do, do not remove it. We're, no, we're not do removing not. it. That's it. Okay, Job's good. done. Oh, Job's you're done. just going to leave it in my bedroom. Oh, yeah. great. I guess... Oh, thanks. You, you can nothing, never misclick. There's nothing you can, you can never do. misclick right up right this. next to my bed. Is it... If you right-click <laughs> it, does it explode? No, like no, no. Oh, gosh. I would not touch this, Korean. This is... No, no, no. Just so you know, I had nothing to do with this. The he had everything to do with this. It's the guy that made all of the end crystals. Just because I sell the end crystals doesn't mean I'm responsible for what people do with them. I had no idea this was going to happen. He gave me the idea. Yeah, but the reason I'm here is because... Grian tried to blow me up with end crystals and failed, and then I blew him up, and now, oh, now here say, I am. I have 449 levels on me. Come on oh. now. <laughs> oh, I mean, I almost clicked it then. I almost clicked it. <laughs> Enjoy nice, your new nice. lamp. Thanks. This is beautiful. Appreciate it. <laughs> it doesn't even give off any light. <laughs> <laughs> it will if I touch it. Can we see it from the window at least? Uh, no, no, just about. No, just oh. about from here. Oh, the bottom! <laughs> How many hole. times? How many times am I gonna <laughs> fall in this <laughs> stupid hole? This was a terrible idea. This is I. Sh- you, you know what, Mumbo? We're you... out of stock. We're out of stock. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mumbo, it's too late. I bought <laughs> them <all. laughs> They're gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this. You know, you have this crystal up in your base. I tried that isn't it. A crystal. I, honestly, I tried that. I tried it on the design. It does not float where you want it to float. Ah, uh, it's like uh, annoying. I, I could, I could put it there. I, everyone gets a, a gets an end crystal on their base. On the up, it looks right. I've, I'd I've, say it looks cool. <laughs> ah. The old switcheroo. Do you have? Do you? Do you have an I'm arrow? Get... What? What for? No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Nerfing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you make me come out there. I got water. I'm going to do this. Okay. Have you got an egg? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Mumbo <laughs> <That's your>, oh! <laughs> oh! oh! What's oh, happened to his dogs? Me down to four hearts. Oh, no, his dogs. <laughs> Did you hurt my dogs? <laughs> I don't know. Something's happened. <laughs> he spooked them. 
I'll take a quick second to mention that we absolutely love blowing each other up, messing with each other. It's just, it is really good fun. We are really good friends and we definitely wouldn't do this kind of stuff if we weren't all 100% okay with it. I fully expect to be jump scared out of my skin by someone sneaking up on me and doing an end crystal bust. But look at this, Mumbo has finished what does look like the skeleton of a giant armchair. So you know how we were talking about this being a quote mega base? I said, oh, I'm not gonna make a mega base. Well, Mumbo's made his and it's quite a bit bigger than mine. But if you want to know what a real mega base layout looks like, let's just fly over a hundred blocks and take a look at what's going on here. Look at the ridiculous size, it's so big I can't load it in, of Impulse's mega base layout. I can't even- look at this! This is absolutely ridiculous, what's he gonna put in here? Now this is absolutely- I don't know what he's gonna be building here, but the size of this foundation is ridiculous. It's about, what, four or five times the size of Mumbo's armchair? And talking of the base, I've got some great news on my second channel and in the description there is a link to my inspiration video which firmly reveals exactly what I want to be doing here. I'll let you watch it before I reveal in the Hermitcraft episode. So next episode I'll go over in more detail what the idea will look like, but on my second channel in the description you can check out a real life video. I had a couple of film students come with me and they fit basically just filmed me taking some pictures. It's a very short video but it does reveal exactly what I intend on doing here and I think you'll like it. I'm very hyped about this idea. Scar is very hyped about this idea so I am looking forward to it. Now one of the big problems that I do have with my base is that I'm not quite sure where the mountain needs to go. And by that I mean, yes, I've got the entrance sorted out, but where does the rest of it go? We can see here exactly where Mumbo's sort of mountain's gonna go, but does my mountain go over the top? Or does it stop there? If you look at caves in real life, there's normally a bit more rock at the top. But I don't have the answer to this question, which is why I'm gonna have to ask Scar when he gets online how on earth I'm gonna tackle terraforming this thing. I was just hanging out with Ren and Doc and uh, a pillager patrol came round and I thought I'd be really smart and I'd blow them up with a end crystal. But this is what happened. There's a raid here. Sweet. Yeah, there's patrol over there. <laughs> oh! Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's not oh, good. Oh, he shot the... <laughs> he shot the end crystal. <laughs> in hindsight, that was kind of stupid. So I got the message in chat, Grian was blown up by a pillager. I didn't even know that was possible. They are working on something crazy, but no spoilers yet. Target acquired. He looks like he's immersed in some sort of explanation. We get in, we place down, we place. Oh, I didn't get him! What? As if I didn't get him! How does this work? Has he got blast protection? <laughs> Good guy. Got him that time. Oh, 574 levels. Oh no. I totally forgot that he has a lot of levels. That's uh, that that is a lot of levels. Uh, that, that is a lot of levels. I'll pay you back. <laughs> I actually kind of feel bad about this, um, so I'm gonna go get him some XP bottles from my trading center. Although, 500 levels is the kind of levels you only get from a piglin farm, so he didn't exactly grind for them, he sat in a farm for a few hours. I have an idea to get back some of his levels. It, it won't be 500, he'll have to go back in his piglin farm, but I completely forgot that he was rocking several hundred levels. Right, we got ourselves a clock. We put a dispenser. We're gonna create an XP shower to get Impulse's levels back. And I need to make sure I'm not here. This may cause some lag. You think he wants me to stand under it? I, I do, suppose. I do. This, okay. I, I got an XP shower for you. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> you felt a little bad about the levels I lost? I felt a little bit. I completely <laughs> forgot. I, my audience don't know, but off camera, Mumbo and Pulse and I basically said, if, if you explode, it's fair game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is nice. <laughs> I mean, you can leave it going and come back. The XPs aren't going anywhere. Oh, right. It'll just sit there. Right. It'll oh, dude, you scared me so much when you came up on me. I was, I was editing. I was... <laughs> I was like, wait, what is that noise? Next thing I know, blam. <laughs> that was good. These ender crystals, man, we can't be trusted with them. No, can no, we? this was a terrible idea. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know whether I should buy any more or just leave it at this. Oh, I don't know. I feel like a war is brewing. <laughs> ender crystal war is brewing for sure. Dude, how many of these did you put in there? <laughs> um, not, not 500 levels worth. No, it's okay. <laughs> That's just, you know, I just been at the gold farm. I know. I, I, can't, it, but... I literally can't compete with a gold farm. So, <laughs> sorry, good. but also not sorry. No, we, it was hilarious. <laughs> we agreed. <laughs> we yeah. agreed. That's what we were going to do. Oh, I need to get my hands on some, though. Oh, uh, okay. I'll tell you too. what. i tell you what. As penance, as penance, I'll, um, I'll okay. give you half of mine, half of the obsidian. <gasps> there you go. Half, nice. half and oh, half. Oh, no. Okay. Until Mumbo nice. restocks, we're on very short supply <laughs> okay all right i have to use them wisely then <laughs> enjoy that really annoying noise <laughs> yeah i'm gonna stay here till it's all done see how many i get well that works i totally forgot about his xp levels but now he's got a lovely xp shower and i've given him half of my end crystals and half of my obsidian mumbo impulse and i were having such a uh, pun blast with all of these end crystals that we basically said to each other if if you just spontaneously explode i'm okay with that so, that is the end of today's episode. We got quite a lot done today. I have started working on the terraforming, although I do need some help from our good buddy, Good Times with Scar. And more importantly, we have done the G-Train, which was much more than just building these carriages. It was more than the build. It was trading for all the books. It was end busting for all of the shulker boxes and trading up for all of these items as well. Hours and hours, more hours went into stocking this thing than actually building it and then getting the iron for the train track. What a nightmare. So, all there is left to say is a massive, massive thank you for watching. I can't wait to have more fun with these end crystals. Oh man, I, I think I gotta see. I gotta see this episode out with this because it's just been explosive. What? How do these work? Oh, like that. <laughs>